This is the moment one stray Chinese lantern dragged a recycling plant through an incinerator. Look closely at the top of the screen. A small white flame appears, moving right to left. It appears to bounce through bales of plastic. Within minutes, one cheap paper lantern caused six million pounds of damage. At first light today came the diggers churning through tons of molten plastic. One firefighter told me it was like a wall of superglue. It was very hard. Yes, the the kind of radiated heat coming from it. If you can, if you you know, if the viewers can remember what it's like being at the big bonfire and how hot it is to stand next to it for a few minutes. Our firefighters have we've stood that for hours. It's emerged that all but one available fire engine in the West Midlands was fighting this blaze at its height. Just take a look at this. This was a fire that broke down a brick wall. There are still pockets of fire still emerging, and there's concern that as some of the debris shifts. It can actually reignite in the wind. The site's owners, j p l a s has made no further comment today. Their neighbours are suffering. We haven't been allowed to move any of the uh, vehicles out of the site. Roy Langford had to send 20 staff home for the week, and he's lost 20,000 pounds of revenue. When you know that it's been caused by a Chinese lantern, how does that make you feel? Well, having had a young family myself, I can see the. Uh, The pleasure that they bring, but obviously, sending a uh, naked light to wherever you know, uh, we can see the uh, the results of this. So I wouldn't be in f a v o r at the moment, of course. On Sunday night, the smoke towered 6,000 feet high, blanketing Hawthorne's house. That's it, real moody stuff. This charity was forced to rearrange support sessions for a hundred people suffering from a mental illness. A lot of the time, what we do, um, the support that we provide, is the only lifeline that our service users get. So it was really important to us to ensure that, that there was some continuity in service and that people weren't left at home um, in, in a state of, I suppose, loneliness and depression. As one shift ended, another started. The progress, though, is such that fire crews could leave this site within 24 hours, leaving investigators to discover more about this small white light. In the night sky, Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Smethwick.